Hello everybody, my name is Safrisha from paulthunder.org. We're here in Penang, the Paragon Gurney Mall, to check out this brand new car. That is the first showing of this car here in Malaysia, the fifth generation Honda CRV. The new Honda CRV is much longer than before. It's longer, it's wider, so there's a lot more space inside. Honda says the middle row passengers will get about two inch more leg room and the boot will be much larger than before. It says the seats are all folded down, you get about 10 inches more length in terms of your cargo bay. That's a massive difference right there. As for the seats itself, in markets like Indonesia and Thailand get two options, a five-seater and a seven-seater. But for Malaysia, most likely we're just going to get the five-seater option. That's not really a bad thing because the last two seats uh, that we've seen are actually quite small. So most likely you'll be using it as a five-seater. It's the same goes with the other seven seat SUV in the market, the Nissan X-Trail, most people use it as a five seater. At most, a five plus two, the last two only for children. The right height is also more than before. The old car was very low to the ground. It had a ground clearance of 170 millimeters only. This one is almost 200 millimeters for the two wheel drive version, whereas the four wheel drive version is right a bit taller, 10 mm taller than before. So yeah, the proportions are much better. It's longer, wider, taller as well. We can open the doors and the windows are tinted really really dark so we can't see the interior either. But for now all the exterior features are on display. The fifth generation model of the Honda CRV that's always been a very popular model here in Malaysia and this one it's all different again. Um, everything is new from the outside to the inside to the interior so it's a big big revamp. On the outside as you can see there's a big bold new grill. It's two layered now big slab of chrome and the top layer is now goes into the headlamps it's a little bit like a like a japanese mustache quite unique headlamps itself is full led units at least on this high spec two liter model um, but we do expect the base two liter base model will have halogen projector headlamps instead and down there these are not led LED DRLs, these are LED fog lamps, just as you've seen in the Honda Accord. But at the same time, the base 2 litre will, will get traditional round bulb halogen fog lamps down there. We'll just show you around the car, talk you through it. Under the hood, we expect to get two engine options. The base 2 litre two litre engine should be the same as before. Um, 2 litre IV Tech SOHC engine with 155 PS, 190 newton meters of torque. But the last time was matched to a five-speed automatic. This time is gonna be a CVT. Honda, as usual, is going towards CVT, um, leaving the normal automatic transmissions behind, and the CRV will go along with it. But what's more interesting, though, is a new addition, a brand new engine, a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine. This one, we've heard it before, we've seen it before in the Civic, the Civic FC, but on the CRV, because it's much bigger, it's much heavier, it gets more power as well. Power is going to be 193 PS and 243 newton meters of torque. That's a very good upgrade over the Civic 1.5. That's a full 20 PS more and 23 newton meters of torque more. This one though, this is the 2 liter model, which you can see by taking a look at the exhaust. This has a single downturn exhaust, meaning this is the 2 liter model. The 1.5 turbo will get very nice twin exhaust tips, chrome tips, so just to show its performance more. The Civic also gets the same treatment. But let's take a look in front. There's a lot more things that I can talk about this car. The wheels down there. These are 17 inch dual tone alloys. But we've been told by Honda that the top spec 1.5 liter turbo engines turbo models will get larger 18 inch wheels with a much more interesting alloy design. On the side, um, this car has keyless entry. Keyless entry is now standard across the whole range and instead of having a button on the side, it now operates using a touch function. So you walk out the car, close the door, touch it once, everything locks. So you don't have to press the button anymore. On the back, the tail lamps are all new. It still has the trademark CRV vertical tail lamps, but this time it's a little bit different. It's a bit more Volvo-ish if you look further. And um, instead of just being a, a full vertical tail lamp, it now extends into the center of the car as well. 
Um, this is a love it or hate it feature. A lot of people love it. At the same time, probably the same amount of people hate, um, hate it. So, I don't know. To me, it looks fine. It looks very premium for a car of this size. But let us know what you think. Let us know what you think in the comments, whether you like it, whether you hate it. Chrome bar here. Very long, very wide. It joins both the tail lamps together with a big, nice Honda logo in the middle. Down there, you get to see a reverse camera. This is standard across the range also. And at the back, you get reverse sensors, which has four sensors. On the top spec model, this car also gets eight sensors um, all around, as in like four in the back and four in front. Let's take a look on the other side here. This is all the highlights of this car. Let's start from the bottom. Sleek LED tail lamps, as we've just shown. The illumination, the brake lamps are all in full LED. And same goes with the front. Both the normal beam and the high beam with LED DRLs are all in LED. Up here, powerful 5 liter VTEC turbo engine. It's a very powerful engine, 193 PS and 243 Newton meters of torque. And that replaces the old 2.4 liter engine. But this one, despite being smaller, 1.5 versus 2.4, it has both more power and more torque than before. At the same time, it also will use less fuel. This though, these are the real highlights of this car. For the first time in Malaysia, Honda is bringing in the Honda Sensing Active Safety System. On, at the top, you get forward collision warning. So there's a, there are two sensors in front of the car, one camera and one wave sensor. And that detects the distance um, between your car and the car in front. If the sensors detect that the crash is going to happen, there will be, at first, there'll be a, an audible warning um, telling you that the crash is happening, so you should brake. And if you don't do anything about it, the car will brake by itself. It's autonomous emergency braking. It has lane departure warning. If you veer off your lane without indicating, your steering wheel will vibrate, telling you, like, hey, you should indicate. Or, um, but that is if the lines are dotted lines. If it's a solid line, meaning you're going off the road, a different system comes on, a road departure mitigation. This one uses both the brakes and the steering wheel to correct your car to go back into your lane. There's also one thing called adaptive cruise control, and that one uses the same radars as before. It will detect the distance between your car and the car in front, and when you put on your cruise control, it will maintain the same distance to the car in front. The car in front slows down, your car will brake by itself, the car in front moves away, your own car will accelerate back to whatever speed you set on. That will work up to 180 kilometers per hour. And it will also work down to zero kilometers per hour. So if you get stuck in a jam, there's this button that you can press. There's something called the low speed follow. So then you don't have to control your throttle or brakes. The car will do all the work for you. Um, the car in front stops, your car stops. The car in front moves off slowly, the, your own car will move slowly. As soon as the car in front pulls off, like say a traffic light, your own car will move, move off also. It's all very, very advanced, and it uses two sensors, like I said. One will be on top here, at the top, there'll be a monocular camera up there. This particular car doesn't have it because this is the two liter, and not the 1.5. And down here, there'll be a millimeter wave radar. On the 1.5 liter turbocharged model, these two horizontal bars will be replaced with a honeycomb mesh like you see down there. So there'll be a, on top here, there'll be a mesh and a big flat piece of radar. Also part of the safety system is something called the Honda Lane Watch. This has been available in the Honda Accord. It's basically a camera mounted underneath the side mirror here. This car again doesn't have it because this is the 2-litre. We expect only the 1.5-litre turbo engines will have that feature. With that though, every time you indicate left and the camera will, will operate, will turn on, so the screen in the middle will show what um, will give you a clearer view of the lane, whether there's a car there or not, whether you should move, whether you should merge or not. All right, that's, that's about it for the all-new Honda CR-V. The fifth generation model, it's now open for booking here in Malaysia. Not until just yet, it's here on preview here in Penang. It's going to appear in KL, in the Klang Valley, very, very, very soon next week. So, to get a full closer look at the car, go on to paultown.org. 
we'll, we'll have a Facebook page, we have a YouTube page. All the details will be on those sites. That's it from me, Hafrisha, from Thank you for watching.